Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so today we have a uh, structural mechanics type of problem. Um, this could be an FE or a PE problem. It's more theoretical than anything. So uh, here's what the question says. On a shear moment diagram or on shear moment diagrams, uh, what does a moment slope of zero suggest as it correlates with shear with the shear diagram? All right, so um, we see our four options available to us, A through D there. All right, so the first step to this is we need to find some reading material. And so if we want to look for some reading material in this one, if you don't know the answer right away, uh, we can look in the FE reference handbook. By the way, I encourage you, um, if you're going to search for something, if you're going to control F, search bending. That's going to be your tip to this one. It's going to be bending. Um, under the FE reference handbook, we need to be looking in the latest and greatest. That's going to be version 10.2 at the time of this video. And we're going to be looking in page 135. All right. And then if you're looking for the PE reference handbook, we need to be ver uh, looking in version 1.2, latest and greatest at the time of this video. And it's going to be on page uh, 31. Okay. All right, so that's everything that we need right now. Now, um, I'm gonna run you through a scenario. Let's go ahead and say that we have um, some sort of structure, simply supported structure. You have a pin here, and then you kind of have some kind of distance. We'll call it uh, 10 feet, I guess. We'll go 10 feet here, right? And then you have a, uh, let's see, a point load, maybe here and maybe here too. We'll call this one kip, and we'll call this uh, five kips. And then uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and say this one, this five kips right here is actually five feet. We'll call it halfway through. Now, um, the first step is really just kind of draw it out, right? If you, if you don't understand, just make up a problem. Let's go ahead and solve through it. And so that's what we're going to go ahead and do, or we're going to try our best anyways. We're going to call this one point A and point B. And so um, the first step is solving for our unknown reactions. Now we have a pin on our left, and so you'll kind of know that uh, I'm going to draw it off to the side. You have this sort of AY force, and then you have an AX force, no moment, because it's pinned. Uh, and then for the B, I'm going to draw it off to the side for clarity as well. We have a BY force, no X, because it's a roller. All right, so now what we can do is we can go ahead and solve for the moments about point A. Sorry, about point A as an A, uh, this is going to be equal to zero, and we have a five, uh, you can really define um, positive and negative moments, I'm going to go ahead and assume counterclockwise is going to be positive, I use my right hand rule, so as you're writing with your right hand, your hand naturally curls in the counterclockwise direction, kind of how I remember it, all right, uh, and so we have this sort of five uh, kips, so we have five kips running against our hand, so this is going to be a negative moment. We're going to have five kips, and we need to multiply that by the perpendicular distance, which is five feet. Uh, and then we have one kip, which is also in the negative direction. We'll go ahead and call that one kip times 10 feet. And then uh, we have that by acting with our uh, positive moment direction that we define. This is going to be by, uh, I'm running out of room here, times 10 feet, all right? So uh, there's that, and so what we can do is we can actually solve for by, and when you do, you end up with something that looks a little bit like 3.5 kips, okay? So a quick exercise right there to solve for your unknown reaction. Let's go ahead and do the sum of forces about the y direction. Also, something else you can spot real quick is that we only have one uh, x force, and so our x's are going to be zero, so our ax is going to be zero. We can skip that for this problem but just uh just a heads up there so all right so the fy we have an ay right and then we have a five kips acting down i'm going to go ahead and assume up is positive uh and then we have one kip there too acting down and then we have our b y all right and now uh we know that this b y is actually 3.5 kips okay now solving for AY, you end up with, let's see, 2.5 kips. Okay. All right. So uh, next step is going to be drawing our shear moment diagram. So real quick, I'm going to try and be real brief, but if you have questions, feel free to ask. We're happy to answer. Uh, we're going to have our shear diagram here, 
And now notice we have this AY. So our AY is gonna be starting along this Y axis. So we start out at zero. So we have zero forces acting on our beam at first. Then we have AY pushing up. That's that 2.5 kips. So I'm just gonna pick something like right in here, 2.5 kips. And then uh, we have nothing really happens, honestly. It's no distributed load or anything like that. Nothing really happens until you hit that five kips and then it jumps so we have this sort of straight line no action and then we have a uh, 2.5 kips and then it goes down five kips so it's going to go down into the negative 2.5 kips okay and then nothing really happens until you get to the end and uh you actually it's kind of weird you you have this sort of uh you have negative 2.5 here and then you go down one so this is minus 3.5 and then you go up 3.5 because of that by okay so by was 3.5 so that gets us back to zero all right so um that that's your shear moment or that's your shear diagram really really quickly really rough all right i'm going to go ahead and scroll down here and i'm going to draw our moment diagram actually let me scoot back up a little bit i'm going to draw our moment diagram now again remember this isn't going to be perfect it's going to do uh it's going to do its job so we're going to have our moment right here now, interestingly enough, if you're looking for that reading material that I was telling you about, you're going to find the relationship between uh, bending moment and shear, and um, you'll notice that moment is actually just the area under the curve of the shear. Okay, Rectangle 1, I'll go ahead and call this rectangle 1 right here, and then we'll call this rectangle 2, so we can just find the areas, right? So the area of rectangle 1, uh, this is going to be 2.5 kips, easy peasy. No derivatives, no integrals, just find the area, it's easy. 2.5 kips times our distance, remember that was five feet, so that's gonna be five feet right there. Uh, that's gonna be the area of that first triangle. And so this one's gonna be what, uh, 12 and a half, 12 and a half, oops. 12.5. Okay, and this is kip feet. All right, and so area two, this one's gonna be uh, 2.5 kips tall. And it's also gonna be, um, let's see, five feet as well. All right, and that's gonna be 12.5 kip feet. Okay, we just found the area under the curve and then we have our tippy point there at the five foot reason why I know that is because we have a positive shear, and so your moment keeps going in the positive direction, all right? Uh, so you start at, mo uh, at your moment zero. Remember, we said that it was a pin connection. There's no moment at the pin connection. It, go it keeps increasing due to the shear um, up to five feet, and then it starts going down, down to zero, ultimately, is where it ends up. Um, and this distance is going to be five feet right here. Okay. All right. Uh, and so that is this right here, this tipping point right here is actually 12.5 kip feet. And so whenever I found the areas earlier, it goes up 12.5 kip feet and then it goes down 12.5 kip feet. Now the slope of our shear die or our moment diagram rather the, the slope of it, we have a slope here and then the moment that it changes direction right here, the slope is actually zero, all right? Now notice the correlation here. Your slope when your moment is zero, or sorry, when your moment slope is zero on your diagram, notice that's where it passes zero on your shear. And so that kind of corresponds with each other. So when your shear is zero, the slope of your moment diagram is gonna be zero. And so this one is gonna be A. Okay, so I hope this video helps. I hope it clears some things up. Catch you next time.